Good morning, folks. This is a follow-up to the Pakistan flooding disaster. Three weeks into September and the country's been transformed by water. Hawaii is seeing Fukushima debris. That's a little closer than I'd like to get. Getting right to the quakes today, zooming in on Greece for the top watch this morning, multiple tremors rang as high as 6.5 and 6.0. Even the aftershock was in the 5 magnitude range. The central East Pacific rise shook as well, and a 5.7 in Tonga registered 6.1 on two separate recorders. While we're over here with Indonesia's 4 million different volcanoes on watch, actually stacked on top of each other here, Mount Lokan erupted yesterday. On the other side of the world, the Northeast Caribbean is still having those quake swarms and where we also saw volcanic eruptions this morning in Guatemala and at San Cristobal in Nicaragua. Finishing up the RSOE alert map back in Hawaii where coral is dying at an astounding rate. So yeah, we find new kinds of clouds all the time, right? Let's first see how many people blame Harp for this, then in response, let's see how the rest of you have paid attention. Home of the Illini kicked off a day where she and her neighbor state to the east set most of the rain records yesterday. Indiana, a little worse probably. It'll take a good eye to see, but that was a pop-up storm in the middle of a low prime star water candidate and this area is on watch tonight as well as cold air rushes in from Canada and will create the bad weather here as it slams into the high pressure system now this system boundary is also causing a headache for Nova Scotia Prince Edward that whole area has been raining for days and it's going to continue as we look in the Atlantic at this low pressure system it might not hit them directly but it doesn't have to and here's why notice a line of moisture getting sucked north between the Atlantic cyclone and the cyclonic movement over land bringing the cold Canadian air to the Midwest going to be a wet weekend for you Nova Scotia folks the earth footprint clearly on the front side here near these active regions that is the primary connection with the front eight connections facing earth and only these two on the back side it's a little hard to watch NASA's animation but it is all we've got here's earth's magnetic connections to the Sun coming from those backside spots to the front you remember yesterday a coronal hole stream ended? Well, we endured another minor one yesterday with solar wind speed exceeding 500 kilometers per second most of the day. We are still awaiting one more day or two of this. Solar flares are flying off the backside, but luckily these active regions facing Earth are quiet. Both appear to have the magnetics to erupt, but have not done so so far. This massive filament on the equator has stayed put for us one more day and we should be in the clear. No activity to speak of on the earth facing side really. Some bright active regions coming in over the eastern limb on the left. Last day of significant planetary positions before the transition of months sees a lot of action. I'll leave you with the eastern limb in 304 angstroms. It's about 6 a.m. eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.